The governor says no. Some schools say yes. It's been a back and forth battle over kids wearing masks. The governor issued an executive order saying he would withhold funding if districts mandate them. But at least two school districts are pushing back. Our Miranda Parnell spoke to legal experts to find out who has the legal system on their side. When the bell rings next week, who will be at the head of the class when it comes to mask wearing? School districts or Governor DeSantis? I have never seen this, this type of heavy handed action. Professor and attorney Renelia DuBose with Cooley Law School weighed in on Governor DeSantis's recent executive order threatening to withhold state funding from districts who issue mask mandates. DuBose says that statutes mandate the funding can only be withheld if districts break the law. She argues that an executive order is an order, but it's not a law. You withhold them when there's a violation of law or school board rule. It does not say an executive order. Professor and attorney Dr. Jay Wolfson with the University of South Florida says an executive order certainly doesn't carry the same weight as a traditional law passed by the legislator, but says the governor could take things to court to let a judge decide if it's sufficient. In some respects, this is a kind of a, a game of political and constitutional chicken to see who's going to flinch first. While facing the argument of withheld funds from the governor, Wilson says schools also have the potential to get sued by parents whose children may get sick if they don't impose a mask mandate. Some aggressive attorneys might sue the school districts for failure to do that if a child gets sick. Essentially, districts have the potential to get into messy and expensive litigation with the governor or with parents. And there's no clear indication of who would win these cases. It will only, if it gets to that, be determined in the courts. Public schools cannot operate in the state of Florida without the funds coming from the state. In that executive order, the governor specifically mentions withholding funds if there are mask mandates instead of parents' choice. He also recently signed what he calls the Parents' Bill of Rights into law last month to help protect parents' rights regarding a child's education, upbringing, and health care. That bill, however, does not mention masks or mask mandates.